purpose of this video is to explain some of the basic formatting options in Microsoft Word 2008 for Mac. First thing we're going to look at are font attributes. A lot of things you can change about the fonts and they're, um, they all work basically the same way which is you select the text and then you make a change and that applies to that text that you've selected. So I've selected the, the word font. I'm going to go up here to this font drop down list and I can select any of these fonts that are installed on my computer to, uh, to make it look different as you can see there. I can also change the size very easily. I can click on this drop down box uh, and enter any of these numbers. I can also type into this box um, if you prefer. Um, just like so with the keyboard. It's also possible to change these parameters uh, over here in the formatting palette, that is the, the toolbox. You can see here I have a font drop down list here once again. Um, I've got the size. I've even got a slider here to easily change the size in that way. I can change the color by selecting the text, going to this color selection drop down box, and selecting that. <clears throat> um, there are also lots of enhancements that we can apply to our text like bold and italics and underline. You can also strike through and there's even this small caps button um, that's there. So lots of stuff you can do to your text to, uh, to make it look the way you want it to look. The next topic is alignment. Um, alignment is, there are four different options in Word. It's how the text is aligned on the page. The four options are left, center, right, and justified. And let me give you an example of that with some actual paragraphs of text. I'm going to select these paragraphs. You notice that right now they're left aligned, which is this button right here. I can make them center aligned so that each line is centered. I can make them right aligned so that they're uh, aligned right over here on the right side of the page. Or I can make them justified, where that kind of stretches them out and makes them sort of left and right aligned by adding spaces in the middle. Usually you'll want to use left aligned for most of your papers. So that's alignment. The next thing we want to talk about is indentation. Often you want to control the way paragraphs and text are indented on the page. And again, let's go down here to our sample text and, and look at it. We've actually got two paragraphs here. You can see this one here. Uh, and this one up here. Um, the easiest way to control indentation is with the ruler. And the ruler is this thing up here at the top of my document that has numbers on it. And those are inches that are measuring the page. There's also one over here on the left. If this ruler isn't showing up on your computer, you're going to want it to. And to make it do that, just go to the View menu and make sure that ruler is checked. Mine already is. That's what's showing up. All right. <clears throat> if we want to control the indentation, we can just click up here on um, on these little um, blue triangles, and we can change the indentation by just dragging them. Note that in this case, I have made my whole left indent uh, at one half inch. I can also change the first line indent, which means only the first line of paragraphs will be indented like so. So if I drag this over here to one inch, you'll see now that my paragraphs have a bigger indent on just the first line. Now I could also do this the opposite way if I wanted to and take this back so that the first line um, was longer and had less of an indent than the rest of the paragraph. You notice you can also click on this triangle and change how that um, it's called the hanging indent, how that works and how far over that is. So that is um, indentation. You can also modify all of this through the um, format and the paragraph actual dialog box. And here you have lots more options which we will talk about in a later video, but all this uh, information can also be set here as well. Bullets and numbering, a lot of times we want to have different um, a, a bulleted list. To do that we select our text, we click on bullets, and you notice that it's added bullets here. 
we can, if we prefer to have these numbered, we can click on numbering and you'll see that it adds automatically uh, the numbers one through five. And if I enter another line, just by pressing the enter key, you see that it adds a six for me automatically. So that may be useful to you. Um, over here in the toolbox, you'll see that there is a bullet and numbering, a little section. And over here, you can easily change the style of the, the bullets or the numbers, what number they start at. So some control options over here. The last thing I want to look at is columns. It's really easy to, to make your data, your, your text, organized into columns. <clears throat> to do that, you select the text that you want to be in columns, click up here the columns button, and then just drag and select however many columns you want to make. I just want to put this information into two columns. I do this and you'll see that it automatically flows into two columns. Since this word is so big, it's taking up all that left column. If I take it back to a standard size, you'll see that it reflows in the columns. Now those two columns you'll see are reflected up here in the ruler and there's this blue section in the middle that separates them. However, my text that's down here in the document is not in columns because I didn't select it and it still is in a single column, which you can see when I click on it. So that's been an overview of some of the basic formatting features of Word.